Good evening friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Tiger Analytics coding questions. If you observe the input format of this coding question, in the first line, the user needs to enter an string as input. For example, the user entered the string as Hello, this is Hemant as string. The, what is the output? output format is returns an highest length word from the string in the string there are four words it is hello the hello is a word and this is a word and this is another word and finally him and this another word out of these what is the highest length of the word if you observe the hello the length of the hello is five because there are five characters in the word hello similarly Let's take this as a word. This is having four characters. So the length of the word this is four. And is is having two characters. And finally, Hemant is having seven characters. So Hemant is the highest word which is having length seven. So the output, the expected output is Hemant. If you observe the sample test cases, that means sample input and sample output. The sample input given is Hello, this is Hyman from United States of America. There are different words which is having different lengths of words. Hello is having three, whereas this is having length four, this is having length two, Hemant is having length seven, from is having length four, and United is having six. States is also having 6, of is having length 2 and finally America is having length 7. If you observe the input, there are two string, two words which is having highest length that is 7. But if you observe the output, the output is one word. Why this is occurs? This is occurs because of it will just takes the first word from the string which is having highest length. The first word which is having highest length is Hemant. Hemant is the first word which is having length 7. That's why it returns Hemant as output. What is the steps or what are the process we need to follow doing this question. Firstly, we need to take input from the user. So input from the user. After taking input from the user, we need to divide that string input into word array. In Java, we are having a method called split. Wherever space is occurred, this will split the words and stores that in an array. So after taking input, we are storing that input in a word array by using split method after that we need to iterate each word and check whether the length of the word is greater than max length initially the max length is 0 why because initially we are not having any strings right that's why initially the max length is 0 after that we need to take each and every each and every word in the array. So apply the same logic in coding. I am creating a class named T Analytics, whereas T indicates Tiger Analytics. Analytics. After that, I am creating a main method public static void main of string box after that we need to take input from the user in java if you want to take any input from the user we are having a class called scanner class by using scanner class we can take any input from the user so i am going to create an object for scanner class scanner se equal to new scanner new is new keyword is used to create object for any class
after creating object to the scanner class we are having different methods in scanner class if you want to take any integer input from the user we are having next int method if you want to take any string input from the user we are having a method called sc dot next int sc is the object of the scanner class and next line is a method which is used to take string input from the user so string str equal to string str equal to sc dot next line after taking input from the user we need to split it into word array so string word array equal to str dot split is split when the word is splitted whenever the space is occur it going to split into words so whenever the space is occur it going to split into words after that we need to iterate the words array for i equal to 0 i less than word dot length we are having a method length which returns the array size word dot length and i plus plus after that we need to check if array of i array of i means first word in the array dot length dot length greater than max if it is greater than maximum size then max equal to array of i dot length i dot length but we are not initialized max anywhere we will get an error so i am initialized in max equal to 0 and i am taking another variable called int index initially it will return the first element in the array if you are not getting any maximum value from the string so if the maximum value is updated then index also updated index equal to i finally after completion of for loop i'm just simply print system dot out dot print off print off array of i if you observe we are using scanner class scanner class is available in util package so we need to import the util package in our in our program otherwise it will get an error so import java dot util dot scanner so just save the program and try to execute it once for compilation we are we are using java c program name dot java p analytics dot java we are getting errors we are getting an error if array of i dot length max greater than max this is why because we are using a name called array but we are not initialized anywhere right we are initialized word array but we are using arr as the name array so just simply change word to arr why because we are using many times arr but word is used one time only it's very simple to change word to arr that's why i'm changing word array name to arr just simply execute it once I is not I is not initialized anywhere right so I am using I but I is the local scope why because I value is declared here and I scope is ended here 
so it will get an error that's why i'm using index index is updated the i value is stored in index and finally i'm just printing before compiling i'm just clearing the screen then compile the program after that run run the program java e analytics so this is asking input from the user hi this is heman if you observe the output is heman let's run one and another test case hi this is heman from america if you observe this program also we are getting hemant as output but we are having two words which is having highest length those words are hemant and america let's run another test case hello this is hemant in this case we are expecting hello as output let's observe the output if it ex executes the correct output or not if you observe the output is hello hence we believe that our code executes all the test cases at any situations i hope this program understands you well if you are having any queries please comment it below please do like share and subscribe and press bell icon thank you